Well, it's been about uh, about <laughs> less than 10 minutes since we dug a bullet right there and right there. The ones that are three feet apart. And now we're three feet from the first one right here. I don't know what it is yet. I dug out some uh, dirt just to speed things up a little bit. But uh, pinpointer right there. About three and a half, four inches in the ground. And there we go, it just popped out. It just popped out another bullet. Right there it is. And it popped out right there with a screwdriver. It's right there. Let's grab it. And this one's been fired. A little, a little banged up there. You can see where it hit, impact. Kind of squished there in the bottom. This looks to be maybe a garden around. Is what it looks like to me. I wish the base was a little bit more intact because I can see the zinc in there. But it looks like a gardener because the lines are a little wider than the three ringer. But it has been fired and hit. So, uh, fellas, there were some boys standing right here. Uh, bullet there 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 within a circle of maybe uh four feet found the handful of bullets right in that area the other day uh and then a little further down found another group of bullets so uh i do <laughs> believe now that they were lined up in this part of the field the major action took place just over them trees uh the major major part of this particular battle if you want to call it that um was over in that direction but they are all through here um so our gridding is paying off um for the new folks uh when you come to a new field i'll be honest i i kind of roam around you know just to see kind of what's in the field first to get a feel for what i'm hunting for if it's a house site um if it's Civil War, if, you know, just to get a good feel of the relics that you're finding. And then, uh, you know, after a few times of coming out and kind of just just wandering around, I hate to say that word, but just kind of, you know, just going from here to there to point A to point B, you know, and just kind of seeing what, getting a feel of the land and the different types of soil conditions you'll be faced with. Um, I did not, you know, I come back and I, I start slowing down a little bit and it's paid off. I mean, in the last two or three weeks, you know, we probably pulled out 20 some bullets. That ball butt we found the other day, some melted lead, some, uh, my uncle found uh, another fuse out here the other day. So um, it pays to slow down. Uh, it really does. Once you've got a good hunted out area, you think you've hunted it solid, like we have here. Uh, Pick a particular area and just stay there all day. That's what I that's what I did the other day, and that's what I'm doing today. Just gonna kind of hunt down this field for a few. I mean, just road for a few hours, and we've already got three bullets in less than you know less than 45 minutes. Um, and I've got you know just a few pieces of trash and three bullets already. You know, I would like to find some brass, but the brass has been few and far between um, at this particular site, uh, and especially in the last year and a half or so. But uh, you know, it just pays to slow down, you know, keep it, like they say, low and slow. Um, you know, and I, I've, I've used a different machine. You know, I pound this place in my mind lab, guys, for, you know, I had Explorer 2. My uncle's still using Explorer, and I got the E-Track. I had definitely been out here with that E-Track and that Explorer for four or five years just pounding this place. And then I switched detectors. I slowed down. I started gritting an area to stay in a particular area. I know it's disciplined. It's hard to do, you just kind of want to wander around, you know, but um, I've just stuck to a particular plan. Use the Tesoro, getting a little different view of the ground, you know, different type of coil uh, than the Double D. Um, I ordered a T2 SE, it should be at my house today. Um, I'm come back out here next week with that and see what I get with that, you know. It, it could open up a whole new realm out here. But anyway, three bullets. 30 minutes, grid in the road, 
taking my time, slowing down, and trying to dig fast for Old Digger. All right, fellas. Till next time.